Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about a subscriber question that I got yesterday. So let's get into it. And the question in question was basically, Frederick, I am starting my education as a software developer and I'm considering whether to go with Python, which is today one of the hottest languages out there where you know there's a lot of hype around machine learning and computer science and since schools are using python as a base for teaching computer science all that good stuff should i go with something like that instead of going with say c sharp or java for example so let's get into that now this is a great question and it is a great question because it will touch on something that i think i've sort of touched on in over the course of quite a few videos at this point there's there's quite a lot of videos now guys hundreds and hundreds and hundreds anywho the thing that i want to mention here is that we have to make a distinction about popularity versus adoption now what do i mean by that well i mean that when you consider the size of the problem that these two platforms, let's take Java and Python to keep things simple, but it more or less applies to C Sharp in many ways as well. Now, the problems that Python solve for us, or rather that the problems that Python is pop, like most associated with, the common case for Python, because that's the thing you always have to remember. What is the common case? Because trust me, there's so many people out there who will tell you that, they, that this language or that language can be used for anything and it can do everything and so forth. And yeah, that is true. You can use quite a lot of languages for a lot of things, but that's not relevant because what's relevant is what they are commonly used for. Because that's the thing that's going to get you hired to do that sort of work. If no, if, if it is if it is possible, it's not as important as if it actually happens. So, when it comes to Python, what Python is associated with most commonly is computer science, machine learning, these sorts of things, right? And that is, a, although a very popular topic for a lot of people in academics, and it's also very popular for certain companies, it is far from the norm, the common case. The, the field of study that Python is associated with is fairly small, or the market that it's associated with is very small, in comparison to, say, Java, which has the world's largest market, basically, when it comes to development, because Java is associated with enterprise application development. And enterprise-level application development is, is the biggest, it's the biggest business around. Hands down, there is... Most of the applications and most of the programmers of the world work on an enterprise application. And ergo, if Java is most commonly associated with that, as you can tell, that uh, there's quite a, big, a bit of a difference there. So, what I said is what I like to kind of remember when uh, we have a question such as this. And that is that you first and foremost have to answer for yourself, what is the goal? What is your goal with software development? Because if your goal is to study computer science and get to work with computer science related issues and tasks and stuff like that, then Python is a great game. It's a great language for, to, to, bet your, to bet on because it, it is very, very commonly associated with the, that sort of work. So it's perfect for that. But if you wanted to be an enterprise application developer or say a games developer, then Python wouldn't really be a good choice because there's many other languages around that would make you, it more feasible or more plausible for you to get a job working with say that sort of thing. So it's not that even if Java is a bigger market and there's more jobs associated with Java, that does not mean that it's a, it's a better choice because you cannot know if it's a better choice until you answer that fundamental question. What is the goal of your of your career? Like, what's the ambition with the programming language? Because remember, guys, the language that you pick and you associate yourself with is it's just a tool for you to, in order to do something else. And that something else is what dictates whether or not the language is a good choice or not. Some languages are very common to, when it comes to solving the same sort of problem, and then we can have the discussion. I mean, if you had asked me about, all right, should I learn C Sharp or Java? Now, that's a harder question because they are both associated with the same sort of thing. So for Python and Java, it's easier because 
as I said, the common case for Python is computer science and machine learning, th these sorts of so uh, things, while Java is more generic than that. So, once, as a, this is what I told this person, once you have answered that question, if you want to be a generic programmer and have a lot of job security, just generally, Java is the way to go, because it's, quite frankly, used so much in so many different industries and I mean I, I can count on my five fingers how many times I've gotten an offer for a Python job as opposed to getting for Java. I mean I've lost count how many times people have asked me about if I know Java or like I know Java but if I have friends who know Java I mean they're like looking for Java people all across the globe. For Python the demand is not that as high in comparison but that doesn't mean that there are no jobs, because there are quite a few jobs associated with Python. It's just that it's less common for you in comparison to Java. So that's the fundamental question. Is your goal to be, have job security or work in enterprise application development? If it is, Java is the way to go. If your goal is to work with computer science related things or stuff, stuff of that nature, or maybe you really li like Python for some reason, then Python is a good choice. But remember, you always have to think about the common case, because once you know the common case and you can answer the question, what is your own ambition, that's when you can answer the question, should I pick that language over that language? Have a great day.